Let's go to visit my auntie. Actually on the way let's show you something else. A lot has changed in the city over the last year. One of the biggest housing projects in the country is actually happening here. It started I think in the end of last year and it is a really good thing. However, on the flip side, it caused a lot of houses to be knocked down. We'll touch on that particular subject a bit later, but let's just show you what everything looks like now because I don't know, walking around that area is kind of surreal for me because it feels like I'm in a different city and obviously because it's not happening in front of our eyes we just see massive changes sporadically Actually, let's just go there first before we head to my auntie's And by the way it's 2nd of December today and the weather is plus 4 and it's been like that the whole time we were here I was certain that it's gonna be snowing in November it's gonna be lovely and you know slightly chilly it's just been hovering around zero the whole time so the snow falls and it melts and it freezes and then crazy winter I would say it's delayed by about a month and we just checked that when we leave, actually next week, the temperature is going to drop to minus 34. In the space of a week. Literally the space of a week. Plus one to minus 34 in a week. It's absolutely nuts. The good thing about that is though, is that we thought we were massively underprepared for the That's Siberian true. winter this time. And we've turned up in these soft shell jackets. But to be honest, for the whole time we've been here, they've been perfect because yeah, yeah it's been so bloody warm. What is this? Siberia in December and it's plus four. And it's been raining what? a lot of the time. <laughs> crazy, absolutely crazy. So we are currently on a street called Sibirikov Gradetsov, which is a massive street right through the middle of the city. And it used to be one of the main streets of the city. There's one of Kemerova's main tram tracks that runs along here. And it used to be the very center of what's called the Chasny sector or the private home sector. As I said in a previous video a few years ago when we filmed here, most people in Russian cities live in big blocks of flats, whether they're Khrushchevki, which are like five, story apartments or Disatki Atashki which are like uh, 10 story apartments and flats and you've also got the new builds in the city however a lot of people do live in their own homes which are called Chasniki and this certain Chasni sector here in the middle of Kemerova is actually on the way to being completely knocked down completely demolished to make way for 11 I think new micro regions and housing for over a hundred thousand people retail space leisure facilities and this as Julia said is one of the biggest projects in Russia outside of Moscow apparently it started as we left last year when they shut the road off but yeah in the 11 months that we haven't been here they have knocked down so many homes and it looks like a completely different city completely different city Julia's auntie actually lives in this area in this Chasney sector and we showed Julia's auntie's house a few years ago and we're actually as Julia said on the way there now her house isn't actually being demolished as part of this reconstruction program but it is right on the edge of the section that is and there is tens of square kilometers of homes that are going and that have already gone to make way for this new mega development which is basically going to be the entirety of the new city center it's a really interesting moment to be in the city and after 10 months to see how it's changed this quick and i think coming back again in the future it's going to be really interesting to see these momentary changes and we'll keep you sort of up to date with it and yeah can't wait to see what it will look like when it's finally finished i mean apparently it's going to take 10 years so uh Let's see, if we're still doing YouTube then, we'll show you what it looks like. It's so positive as always. <laughs>
by the way this road because of all the building works became really busy all of a sudden it's not meant to hold that much traffic but especially during the peak hours there are so many cars Manji was saying that sometimes the house literally shakes because of the amount of traffic and we noticed that it's a lot harder <laughs> to get to my aunties now because there are so many cars coming both ways there is no space for you almost to walk By the way, I think I say that every single time we're here, but I'm going to repeat it anyways. This used to be my grand's house, and I was born in this house. Well, it used to look very different. Very different. Oh, my aunt is coming. Yes, my dear Babushkin Dom. Babushkin Dom. Sushi, Были окна? Они окна не замуровали? Нет. О, так, я придумала нет. тогда. Я придумала. Оля, можно огород а посмотреть? Кого? Огород. Ну, там смотри только это. Ого. А -а -а. Хорошо. Мы это аккуратно тут? Да, да. Какой кошмар. Сюдаечки. Ой, ой, ой. Нормально, нормально. Только пойдем с ними, я раздета. Ну, давай. Сейчас пойдем. Ой. Садите по ласти там. Вау. So I think this is another sort of proof of how warm and how little snow they've had so far this year. The last time we filmed here it was December and I think the snow was something like up to here. Yeah. There was so much. You could see it on the table, couldn't you? It was massive. We were jumping into the snow and now look, nothing at all, nothing at all. Just ice and slush. It's been a crazy winter so far. But next time you see this garden, it's going to be full of life. Next time we're coming back, it's going to be summer. And we're so looking forward to seeing everything in the summer because last time we were here in the summer, say summer more, it was 2018. And I'm really looking forward to being here in the summer. Know, being here in the summer the most, but uh, also eating everything they grow in this beautiful garden. So cherries and there are lots of raspberries and strawberries. I'm gonna ask and plant some pumpkin for me. Oh, gonna need to put all my requests in early enough. I'm gonna start making a list. <laughs> Probably tell me to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go back in? Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Ну, мы сейчас тебе вышли, а то мы дома сидели, работали, думаем, пойдем. Прошу, вернемся до тебя. Давай, Олень, пока до понедельника. В понедельник увидимся с тобой, да? Давай, да? Если что, да, звоним. Хорошо, да. Хорошо, Ты же но... в курсе еще. Ага. Да? Давай. Давай. Пока-пока. Gets dark really early now. Can't even see the time. So the situation is. I tried to find out how many houses were knocked down and I can't tell you that. All I know is that there are still 40, around 40 houses remain because people refuse to move out. And the situation with like paying out is not very clear of how much money people are getting for their houses because the amount is different for everyone depending on the size of your house but some people also they will extend their house for example or build like banya or something else but they won't register it perfectly they won't get the right permits and that means that they won't get the payout for it and that happens to many people that they just don't get the right payout and some houses are really well built on the flip side some houses are pretty much like falling apart and some houses have been 
passed down for generations. It's always bittersweet when you see big projects like that. Also, many people in houses like that, they have their own gardens, they grow their own food and then they, you know, have it throughout the year. But if they'll move into apartments, obviously they're not going to have that, they'll have to buy dacha as well and or different kind of garden. So it's just, unfortunately, as everything in life, it's not black and white. I would like for everything to be black and white because it's way easier to live like that. Oh, but unfortunately it's not. And also, I know for a fact that, for example, for some people, the payout is not... Oh, there are two big dogs fighting. Let's go the other way. Um, for some people, the payouts are not enough to buy something else in the future. So they have to get a loan or a mortgage. But lots of people that live in these houses are pensioners. So what on earth are they going to do? I honestly don't know. We are walking back a different direction now and my auntie was just saying that originally they said that they will knock this street down and we walked down this street last time and there are so many amazing massive beautiful houses here and I can't imagine like you put so much time and effort into all these houses and someone just comes in and like oh I'm gonna build something here here is your 20 quid <laughs> go and get a mortgage and buy yourself a nice flat I don't know and another thing as well that this area there is no central heating so people whether have to, to install something themselves which is costly I presume but majority of people they are using augers and to fuel them you need to use coal because well we're in the coal region in fact we're in the coal mining capital of Russia uh, you can use wood for that, but wood doesn't burn for long enough and it will be very costly, so they're using coal. And that does affect the quality of the air because our city was built during the Soviet time. There was a city, but it was way smaller. We have loads of different uh, factories. Uh, so the city was built around them. So the quality of the air is not very good and that kind of contributes to that as well. As I said, it's such a difficult topic. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. We are on our way to our brother just to say goodbye. And it's finally snowing so hard. I think it's been snowing all night. It's crazy. Now will be the time to be uh, jumping in your auntie's garden, right? That's for sure. We missed it. Do you reckon the snow will still be here when we come back in the summer? Nah, many people think that <laughs> it is like that here yeah, in yeah. Siberia, but nah. Yeah, in the it's summer good. here, it's like into the 30s Celsius. So yeah, it gets very, very hot. So uh, yeah, unfortunately we've missed our chance. But at least we got to see it for one day, right? True. Every little counts. Absolutely. As Tesco says. Where's the Sainsbury's? Tesco's. Tesco's. I think Tesco's. Tesco's. Just wanted to show you a new area of the city which was built over the last 10 years. And everything is basically brand new here. It was built over the top of old garages and maybe some private houses. But we've got a new school and some nursery as well just behind us. My brother lives around this area. And I'm guessing the new area which is being built over that side is going to look pretty similar. I mean, if so, it looks pretty good. During our last few days at home, I asked my grand to teach me how to make a couple of different things. And in return, my grand wanted to know how I make my cinnamon buns. So I showed you how I make them. We just finished the dumpling production company with my gran and we quickly popped to grab a bus ticket to go to Novosibirsk. We're actually leaving 
the day after tomorrow. But for now, we're heading to one of our favorite cafes here in Kemerova. It's an Uzbek place and we fancy a good old clove. We're going to be in Uzbekistan next April, but we just can't wait. There are actually a lot of different Central Asian restaurants and cafes in the city because there are lots of people from Central Asia coming to work here and they're opening their amazing restaurants. Always good for us. So let's head there and have some sick pull-off. So we obviously ordered two gloves and I got myself three manti with beef. It all looks so, so good. Okay, for it. One of us here. Did you see the new tram? Oh no. do stuff and walk around but I've only got like one day left with my family so I just want to sit with my grand. <laughs> Let's go back. Ага. Здравствуйте. Если будешь плакать, то не приедем. Ладно? Ну не плачь, ладно, только. Я тебя люблю очень сильно. Пока. Пока, бабуль.
So originally we were going to be filming a video here in Novosibirsk and um, yeah, we plan to, we're here for two, two nights before we fly out and we plan to film an entire video here, but yeah, we definitely didn't bargain on this weather. It's been minus three, minus two this entire month and a half. Zero, even it plus. It's so warm. Oh yeah, it's just the warmest winter ever. And now, when they plan to film and be outside <laughs> for the whole day. Literally overnight, within two days, it went from zero to minus 30. <laughs> oh my God. In a couple of days, we had a long journey to our new destination. But this is a different kind of story. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. If you would like to get more exclusive content from us, like daily vlogs and other travel vlogs that we don't put on YouTube, you may want to check out our Patreon community, where we post our future plans and loads more other different things. And if you would like to get your name on the credit section here and just support our channel. On that note, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Mwah.